Welcome to the first video of 2021. Just a little studio vlog for you today going through the first week of the new year. Um, a lot of getting started on my goals that I talked about in my last video and kind of just getting back into the first work week of the year. I'm actually really, I just feel really energized at the start of this year and really motivated, which is not always the case for me at New Year's. Sometimes it feels just overwhelming and there's a lot of expectation and although I do have things I want to accomplish this year I don't feel overwhelmed by anything and I feel really invigorated and ready to get to it so I hope you all enjoy the usual doses of art cats nature all that good stuff so take care everyone enjoy the video as I mentioned in my planning and goal setting video, I sit down every Sunday to plan out my week and this week being the beginning of the month, I also planned out my menu. I plan our menu a month at a time. I find it so much easier for shopping ahead, especially in the pandemic because I only grocery shop every two weeks and have been doing so since last March. So it's really a good way for me to plan ahead. It saves money. It's such a helpful thing that I find for staying organized and making sure we have healthy meals. So yeah, I can talk more about that at some point if you want, but I sat down and planned the menu and then moved into planning my week. As usual, I listed out the tasks I wanted or needed to accomplish in the coming week and then spread them throughout uh, on my weekly spread in my planner to make sure they could all be finished. And having my week planned out is a huge part of keeping me on track during the week. I am not at all a morning person, so it's really nice when I do get up in the morning, I can just open up my planner, see what needs to be done and get to it without really having to put a lot of thought into, oh gosh, what do I need to do today? I find it very helpful for keeping me on task throughout the week. The first art project I completed for January was something new, and that is creating sigils. This is something I would like to do at the start of every month where I create a sigil to represent the month itself. And it's something that while I paint it or create it, I can kind of imbue with my intention for the month. I've always really enjoyed coming up with um, designs and things like that and putting a little more thought into them to create sigils for each month has been really really fun along with learning about the origins of each month and kind of being able to include symbolism that represents the month it's been a really fun project and i'm excited to continue I do want to admit, however, that I actually created this piece twice. The first images you're seeing here of me making the whole thing 
are at an eight by 10 size. Now, when I initially drew this, I wasn't quite sure what size I wanted it to be at. I did the sketch digitally and then printed it to trace onto the final paper. I finished the eight by 10 and did not like it. There was too much extra space. It was too empty. It was too big. It just, it wasn't meant to be this size. So I redid the whole thing at a five by seven size, which is what you're seeing here when I removed the tape. <laughs> But hey, sometimes you gotta work a little to figure out what you want, and now I know. My next project was working on a sub reward gift for my Twitch channel. When you subscribe to my Twitch channel for one year, you receive a five by seven piece of original art from me, typically of a crystal. Crystals were my channel theme for a while, and though I have kind of expanded beyond that now, I still really enjoy offering an, a five by seven crystal reward for your one year sub gift. Uh, I really enjoy creating them and people really seem to like receiving them. So I'm excited to keep going with that. I got all of the base coloring laid in in this session, but I still have the detailing and highlights to do. And then this piece will be complete to send off to its recipient. My daughter and I on our afternoon hikes have been having a wonderful time trying to identify animal footprints in the snow. I'm definitely not the most knowledgeable on this, but it's super fun to find them and at least take a guess at what they are. I'm pretty sure these are deer in the deep, deep snow. You can see some of the hoof prints way down in there. Next we have what I think are rabbit based on the kind of spacing pattern and the larger back foot set. I'm pretty positive these are squirrel based on how small they are and their little straightforward walking pattern, but also it's hard to tell in the footage, but they have tiny little claw patterns in there too that I'm pretty sure are squirrel. And I am very positive that these are wild turkey. Wild turkeys have a very large distinct bird footprint and so they're pretty easy to identify and always fun to find in the woods. If you recognize any of the prints and I've definitely gotten some wrong, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to learn more about identifying footprints, so let me know. One of the biggest tasks that I tackled this first week was going through all the art that I own. And I don't mean just my own art, although some of it is, but it's all the art prints that I have purchased, receives, original arts. I have so much that isn't hung yet. And I finally decided to sort through every single bit of it and really make some choices about what I want to display. I already have quite a few gallery walls in the areas where I work, but they've been the same for a long time, like multiple years at this point, and I'm ready for a change. So I took on this task of going through literally every art print or original that I own and deciding what to put up where. It was a heck of a task, but it was really worth it and it's it's not even finished yet but it's so wonderful to be working towards curating a space that i love all right so this is how we're looking so far replace a few things i've got space up there obviously i need to fill this empty frame on the wall i have art coming in the mail but obviously everything's been pretty slowed down this year so i'm just waiting on it to get here and then i have the piece i want to put right here i just need to get a frame for it 
this stack is now framed and it is going to be hung in this empty space but it is framed and ready to go this stack with the kitty tail hey Edgar you helping Are you helping me sort all the art you are oh you're such a good boy yes you are Anywho, this stack with Edgar's tail. I'm gonna see if my kiddo wants in her room. This is everything I still need to get frames for to hang in here, but I know where it's gonna go. Actually, this one's gonna go out in the living room, but it's ones that need frames that I know where they're going. And then this little stack, these three here are gonna be going in the kitchen, but not until I redo the kitchen in the spring. And then this um, Hogwarts, painting this is actually a print but a watercolor print I don't yet know where I'm gonna put might go in our living room might go somewhere in the bedroom I'm not sure yet but progress lots of progress I recorded myself drawing my first sketches in my sketchbook as working towards the goal of filling a sketchbook this year and I don't know what happened but that footage is gone. The camera starts with that first little clip you see of the finished drawings but there's no, I don't know where the footage of me actually drawing them went. It's like it didn't start recording until that point. So instead you get the finished drawings and a little bit of my kitten being amusing with gigantic eyeballs. I don't know what he was looking at, but it was amusing the heck out of me while I was trying to work. <laughs> but the sketches were just some cyberpunk character concepts. I've been playing Cyberpunk 2077 and really enjoying it, so it's been on my mind lately, so I just did some quick character designs. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to subscribe for more content like this, and I will catch you on the next one. Be well, everyone. Bye! Thank you.